Hello, welcome to Tutorial for your channel. In this video, I will show you how you can upload your PHP project to Infinity Free. First, we have to sign up to the website. Go to the Infinity Free website and click on the Sign Up Now button. So, this is the registration page. Enter your email address here. Enter a unique password and accept the agreement and click on create new profile so you can see they have sent a verification email at our email address so let's go and check our gmail so this is the email you can click on this button to verify or you can click on this link click on agree so we have successfully signed in to infinity free now we have to create an account so you can see this is the home page if you click on home this is the profile page and this is the account page so you go to your account so you can create an account by clicking on this create an account now or you can click on this button you can create up to three accounts so let's click on create now and give a sub domain if you have a custom domain you can write a custom domain name here but we are creating it for free so we will select subdomain and give it a name as tutorial for infinity all right you can select any domain from here let's select this domain and click on check availability so you can see the domain is available so you can give any label here if you want and you don't have to give a username it will generate automatically and then you can give a password and then you click on create account then this capture will come to verify verify this capture and you can see your account has been created with username this is the username which they have provided click on finish and now the first thing you have to check go to your domain and open your website all right so this means that it has not yet set up will take some time all right so let's go back to our client area this is basically called client area all right and you can see this is the home where it is showing your username your password it also shows the detail of your database you can see mysql detail and here is the username password and the host name all right and you can upload your php files using this file manager also but i will show you how you can upload through control panel click on control panel and this page will open which will look like a pop-up but it is not a pop-up it is from infinity free just click on i approve all right so this is the control panel it got many other functionality for php project you just need to upload your file and you need to upload your database so you will need just this two section so click on open file manager this will open a file manager where you can upload your file so you can see this is the file manager do not upload files here because you have to upload your files in this htdocs folder open this htdocs folder and you can delete this file or you can select the file and click on this delete button now you have to upload your files click on this upload button so you can see it has the option upload files upload folder upload zip i got files so you can choose according to your need this is my files so select all and click on open it is uploading it will take some time so an error come to upload file error during ftp upload the file not found so there is an issue with this file manager that it throws some error and it does not upload some files but you can cancel all like if i click on cancel all there will be some file uploaded then you can upload that file in a second try so click on open now it will be uploaded there will be all seven files here after upload you have to check every single file because sometimes it shows that it is uploaded but some files will be missing 
so you have to check all your files and folder after uploading them all right so our files are uploaded now we have to make our database so let's go to our database and click on php my admin in the database section so this window will be open saying no database on this account you firstly need to create a database before you can use php my admin you can you can do this by clicking here click on this here button so create a new database give the name of a database i am writing demo and click on create database so scroll down and you can see our database is created this is the name of the database and the more details will be in our client area mysql details all right so first let's upload our database file click on admin it will open up php my admin you can see in the structure there is no table so you can click on import click on choose file and my database file is in download folder and this is my database file demo click open and then you can click on go button to upload it so you can see our database is uploaded click on structure and you can see there is only one table name employees which is empty after this what we have to do we have to configure this database if you go to our config file and if i click on this arrow and click on edit you can see the configuration is of local host so we have to change it db server name you can find it on client area so this is the host name copy this you can find the host name here also and you can find the host name where you have created the database you can copy it and paste the host name then you can go back to and copy the username and paste the username here and you have to go back the password will not be here the password will be only in client area and it will be hidden so you have to click on this button to show and then you copy this password and go back to your configuration file and paste the password and database will be here this is a database name and database name will not be in the client area it will be in here so you paste the database name here basically the database name is your id a dash and then your database name which you have provided save and close so everything is done our database is uploaded our files are uploaded our database is configured now we just have to wait for our hosting to set up after an hour a domain is set up you can see our website is live and so it does not have any record let's just add a record so you can see one record is added let's go to a database and refresh it so you can see our record is added so our website is uploaded successfully but you can see there is this not secure in a domain so now we'll see how we can remove this since infinity free provide a free ssl certificate which will help us to remove this not secure from our domain so let's click on free ssl certificate and click on new ssl certificate now here you have to give your domain name you can go to the client area or you can go to your website and basically this my domain name copy this and go back and paste it here so remove this http from the domain name all right so this is our domain name click on continue so now they are giving this for ssl certificate this is for custom domain this is what they recommended you can read this but i will select this go get ssl certificate you can read the requirement and choose according to that so click on choose provider so your ssl certificate order has been created please see below for next step so now we have to add the c name record to our c panel so the first way is you can either click on this button it will add automatically but sometimes it does not add so we have to add manually so we have to go to a c panel so let's go to a c panel so you can scroll down till you find the c name in advanced section you will find the c name records so you can see you have to enter this record name which they have already provided if you can see the record name domain name and destination basically you have to add this record name and the destination here 
record name and destination and click on add button let's first try adding it automatically S click on this button set up record automatically but sometimes it does not add so we have to add manually so we have to go to us uh, so the c name record has been added please note that it may take time up to an hour to take effect due to dns so let's go back to our c name refresh it so you can see it is added automatically if it does not add it you have to add it manually remove this source enter this and remove the destination and enter this the domain name is already coming click on add all right now we just have to wait for the mail they will mail us a key which we have to paste it in the cpanel only so i will show you once i got the mail so after half an hour i got the mail you can see your ssl certificate has been issued open this and click on this link view my ssl certificate so now you can see there are two ways to put this certificate one is by clicking on this button and the other way is you go to your control panel again and scroll down till you find security section and in the security section there will be SSL TLS open this and click on configure so here you have to paste the product key and, it's, and then click on this upload key button and then you have to place certificate key and upload the certificate so you can see the link which they have given so it, if you go back and click on this show you will get the product key as well as the certificate you have to copy this this way and paste it there so first try let's just try doing it automatically click on this install ssl certificate automatically so you can see this ssl certificate has been installed it may take up to 15 minutes for it to become active so let's go back to our control panel and refresh it so as you can see it has automatically configured otherwise you have to put that manually and uh, click on this upload key and for certificate you have to click on this upload certificate so after this you have to just go to your website it will take up to 15 minutes after that this not secure will be removed so after a while you have to go to your website and right click on the link and click on always show full urls so you will see that it will be http all right just add s in front of http and click enter so the page will reload and you can see the not secure is gone and it has shown this lock which say connection is secure all right our connection is been secured our website is uploaded freely at infinity free so let me know in the comment section how do you like this video and if you like this video give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos i will see you in the next video till then take care have a nice day